Hello, I'm MPX Cat, and welcome back to the video. Today we're talking all about llamas in Minecraft. That's right, we've got a whole llama video because the thing about llamas is most people look at them and they see them for the first time, they realize you can't ride them like a horse, and they say, well, they're kind of silly. And although I agree there's like a little bit of weirdness going on with exactly how you do tame the llama and stuff like that, I feel like the llama is one of the most misunderstood mobs in Minecraft. A lot of people just miss the point of them, and I figured with today's video, why not teach you five things you probably didn't know about the llama because they are such a misunderstood mob. So that's exa exactly what I'll be doing. Hopefully you all do enjoy this video. You can like it if you do because it helps out the channel. And let's know you like llamas. That's right, they're really here. Look, llamas, 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 llamas. But with the sense of strength, the first thing about llamas, uh, which is actually to do with the colors you can find them in. Because uh, a fact you probably did not know, although I didn't know, and I want to kind of correct myself here, uh, is actually sort of the number of colors of llamas you have. So you get white llamas, you get beige llamas, you get brown llamas, but there's actually four colors of llamas because the last one is this one right here, which is actually gray instead of white. So as you can see, this is a white llama, this is a gray one. Side by side, you can actually just about see the difference. This one has some gray patches on it, whereas this one is pure white. So there's four colors of llamas and then you get 16 variants of those llamas because you actually get uh, you know the number of them where, you know you get uh, every a color of carpet gives you a different type of llama so this one has an enderman on it this one has a creeper on it uh, the gray one has bandit on it for instance there's 16 unique types of llamas and then on top of that so that's 64 different variations then on top of that there's the ability to have them in both uh, you know like chess variants and non chess variants and then there's 21 texture packs on minecraft console which gives you 2688 different llama combinations you can have that's why I'm llamas are amazing how many other mobs came into the game and have 200 1,698. I don't think very many, and that's why I should quickly mention that, yeah, llamas have some of the most variations of any mob, 2,688, only beaten by mobs of armors and stuff like that, which is pretty great that you might not have known. So the second fun fact about llamas you probably weren't aware of is the fact that they actually have a hidden value. So unlike horses, where there's like three values and you're always trying to min-max them all, uh, llamas only have one, uh, you know, hidden value from you, uh, from you, which is actually the strength. So the strength can be easily determined by putting a chest on the llama. So for instance, this llama right here, if we put a chest on him and then we mount him, as you can see, he has a strength value of one. So they've, the strength value determines two things. The first one's very obvious and the second one's kind of sneaky. Uh, the first thing is the number of uh, items it actually can hold. So as you can see, uh, this uh, llama has just three item slots in its chest. I don't know how a chest only stores three items, but it's a very weak llama, so you can put three items in there. Uh, whereas if it had strength two, then you'd be able to put six items in there. If it was strength three, you could put nine. If it was strength four, you could put 12. And if you have the very rare strength five llamas, then you can put 15 items in their pack, which is a very, again, that's a pretty useful thing because their big thing is carrying stuff around. And yeah, this is why if you find llamas, it's not just as simple as finding the first one you get. You want to look around and try and find the best one because lots of llamas will be very weak and have just strength one or strength two, uh, but a lot of llamas will also have strength three like I just saw there. And uh, this means, uh, you know, not only better, you know, carrying capacity, which is the big thing llamas do, but it also means they're going to be more aggressive and better, you know, equipped for t attacking wolves. So if we have a wolf right here, the most aggressive llama will go for it first, which is, uh, you know, something sort of their strength value. So yeah, um, fun fact about uh, llamas is they have a strength value and you should always be watching out for that. And uh, also, by the way, uh, you might also know this, is if you breed a llama with a higher strength value, one with a lower value, you can kind of equalize from there. So if you want to get a brand new llama with, you know, the highest strength, five, uh, then the only way to get it from scratch is to go out and just find llamas over and over again. So yeah, if you think right now you've you mastered llamas because you have three or four of them, try and get the best llamas to save yourself a bit of time and then breed from there. So anyway, that, that, I could talk about llama strength all day, but I can't in today's video because instead I've got to move on to the third fun, uh, you know, interesting fact about llamas you probably didn't know, which is the fact that they're one of the very few mobs in the games that can accidentally kill each other, uh, you know, about any human intervention, or not necessarily human intervention, but yeah, if, if, if there's dogs nearby and they attack the dogs, or I'm going to be a human just right now to save some time, if, uh, you know, you attack a llama and then that llama, you know, before it attacks you, it attacks another one, then what will actually happen is they'll start a war, and when the war between llamas starts, one of the llamas will actually kill the other one. That's right, llamas are one of the few mobs that will just randomly start getting aggressive towards each other, and because they have the actual power to do it, that means they can actually kill each other. So yeah, fun fact, llamas will kill each other. I, I don't want to see the Enderman versus the Creeper fight. In fact, yeah, there we go. You ever want to see what happens when an Enderman and a Creeper fight? Well, I guess we'll find out right now. My assumption would be that the Enderman wins, but you know, we'll see in a second. Uh, but let's move on to the fourth fun fact, which is to do with invisibility. So invisibility, if you splash llamas with it, makes them entirely disappear besides the things they're holding. So as you can see, um, yeah, sorry, besides the uh, the thing, the, 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 uh, the stuff they've got on, the I guess you call it the armor, but you know, more like the decorations, which means that you can actually have secret chests and you can also sit above nothing. A great thing if you ask me, like the fact that you can sit in midair, but that's not the only great thing about llamas. Uh, the second great thing here, so we're gonna have to break our way out there, is the fact that um, if you, if you splash potion a llama which has uh, the carpet on top of them, then everything will disappear but the thing you splash. So we hit like four llamas right here, 
So those llamas are still going at it, by the way. Uh, but yeah, if we throw uh, one at four llamas right here, as you can see, they're all going to disappear minus their skins, uh, which is pretty crazy because the bandit, you know, the bandit one is this, this weird ghostly uh, mob. And if you want to have ghostly llamas that you ride around into battle, then you can do it this way. It's also a good way to hide the fact that your llama has a chest because most people don't assume that it does. You have to like go in there to secretly find it. And yeah, even though there's a chest on this llama, you can't see it because it is hidden. Uh, but the, uh, you know, the carpet is not, which means that you get like feet on this, in this case is one. Uh, you get lots of weird things happening when you do this and it's something you should try out. It's kind of funny and that's a thing right there. So speaking of llama death from number three, um, as you can see, it looks like creepers be endermen in the long run. Uh, but with uh, the last uh, fun fact to do of llamas is also to do of their spit. So their spit is actually a, a free, you know, it's, it's an entity in its own right. It has its own set of rules for some reason. It's a very, very strange thing, but this spit can actually kill you the player if you uh, let it. So if we just uh, fly it very quickly and we take some damage again, I, I take some damage in a better way, but let's, let's just uh, speed some time up. So we'll go up and then we'll do it again. And uh, then we'll let some llamas attack us because a uh, fun fact is llamas, uh, you know, spit actually hurts you. So as you can see, it deals like the tiniest bit of damage as you just saw right there. Like it's it's not much, but it's a thing. Did I turn on disable exhaustion or something? Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, not only will the llama spit damage you, which uh, you're gonna see, like, it's gonna take a few t attempts before it actually kills me, uh, but yeah, it, it can actually damage me. Oh, I'm flying right there. But uh, the, the llama spit can actually kill you, and not only can it kill you, so there we go. Okay, let's let's do this. I'm so close to death. Okay, so the llama spit can not only damage you, which, you know, it's, it's kind of damaging by itself, but it also can kill you. So if we, again, if we get hit caught in the crossfire, or if we just punch our own llama, which you shouldn't do, then the llama spit can kill you, and it actually counts as magic upon the game. As you're going to see right here, it gives you a brand new death message. Was killed by llama using magic. That's right, llamas are officially magic. It's confirmed. We've seen it. That's all you need to know about llamas. Five fun facts. I hope you did all enjoy this video. You can like it if you did, because it helps out the channel. And let's know you did like llama, uh, learning about llamas in Minecraft. Uh, share it if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here, because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you very much for watching this video on the llamas. Um, but, you know, I'm sure there'll be like a billion more in the future. I would really want to make one of like the guide to making the best llama at some point, so let me know if you like to see that. But for now, like if you liked it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. And make sure you hit the bell if you do subscribe, because that's what actual subscribing is on YouTube these days. Um, but yeah, bell me, and I'll see you next time. Bye!